Good evening and welcome to Black News Tonight. I'm Mark Lamont Hill. Tonight, a step in the right direction. The family of Andrew Brown Jr. getting the approval to see more footage of his fatal encounter with police. A North Carolina judge issued a written order that will allow Brown's family to see only a fraction of body camera footage related to his shooting by Elizabeth City Police. They also won't be able to make any recordings or receive any copies. This comes as protesters have been calling for a full release of the videos almost every night. Pasquotank County deputies shot and killed Brown when attempting to carry out warrants on April 21st. One of the attorneys for Brown's family previously described the fatal shooting as an execution when officials showed a snippet of that body cam footage from the incident to the family late last month. New indictments in the George Floyd case. Derek Chauvin and three other former Minneapolis police officers are now facing federal charges after a grand jury indicted them with violating Floyd's civil rights during the arrest that led to his death nearly a year ago. Chauvin, who's awaiting sentencing after being tried and convicted of murdering Floyd, also got charged in a second indictment. The grand jury charged him with using unreasonable force by kneeling on the back of a 14-year-old, grabbing his throat, and beating him on the head with a flashlight during an incident in September 2017. Meanwhile, educators continue to be tone deaf when it comes to black trauma. A North Dakota school teacher has been on leave since reportedly making elementary school children reenact the murder of George Floyd. In a statement, Wapiton Public Schools confirmed placing the teacher on leave. They said, in part, the fifth grade class reenactment, quote, may have been inappropriate and insensitive. May have been. Also in Alaska, a special education teacher is on leave from Lathrop High School in Fairbanks after telling students during a discussion on police killings that Floyd would still be alive if he followed police orders.